welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i am key this is keys playing life so today we are going to do our first paycheck of january our first bi-weekly paycheck if you guys don't know i do get paid bi-weekly um yeah so you probably seen this shirt already and that's because i pre-upload which means i had to push them videos out and get them out to you guys on time but I also have certain dates that I push them out on. So if you see, be like, girl, I just seen you in that shirt. Yes, you did. So this is probably the last time you see me in it. But yes, you did see me in it. Okay, so this is our first paycheck for January. Um, our paycheck was $2,505. Our expenses totaled out to $2,505. Our savings was $475. There was no money left over. So, for this paycheck, we paid our rent, which was $9.78. Then we paid afterpay, which was $100. And then for Capital One Silver, we paid $25. Capital One Saver, we paid $25. Mission Lane, we paid $25. Um, our Apple products, we paid um, $0. Wait a minute. Capital One our regular Capital One, we paid $55. I'm sorry. And then Capital One Silver, $25. Capital One Saver, $25. Mission Lane, $25. And there, uh, another Capital One Quicksilver, $25. Um, myself, I only paid myself $181 this month. Just because there wasn't a need for... Normally, I do $200, $250. But there wasn't a need to add the extra change on there. Just because um, what I wanted for this month, which is my birthday month, I ended up getting my kids bought me the two chairs for my office because I'm redoing my office right now. So I was only making two purchases this month and that was my shelves that I needed for my office and the chairs. And my kids got the chairs for my birthday. I got the shelves. Um, car insurance actually went down. 219 it was 269 but as you guys know if you don't get in no accidents for the year or whatever then your insurance insurance goes down rainy day 200 dollars our rainy day fund i'm very excited this paycheck we were able to put 200 dollars up our personal savings we were my well my personal savings i was able to put 250 up um the christmas savings i put 25 up and the cell phone um went up and you guys well it didn't really go up much because you guys know it was like 278 and now it's 339 and that is because i added my daughter to the plan um she has shown herself to be responsible um she has been taking care of things that she needs to take care of and i she needed a new phone and she was trying her hardest to get it on her own and she just couldn't. So I was like, okay, you show me that you are responsible and that you are going to take care of your business. You can go on my plan because I don't play that. I don't put kids on my stuff just to put kids on my stuff because you're not going to put me in debt. I don't care if you are my child. But she showed, <laughs> and plus she's 19, but she showed me that she is responsible and that she can take care of her business. So I was like, okay. Because she also knows she don't have my money. She won't have no phone. I, this is a business. This has nothing to do with my love for you or me being your mama. This is a business arrangement. <laughs> and I'm real serious about my business. My kids know I do not play when it comes to money, when it comes to things that need to be taken care of, when they take just business, period. I do not take I do not play. Um gas bill the gas bill was 56 dollars, but i had already paid a little extra on it last month so it was 33 dollars. so that's taken care of for the month of january um there's really nothing um else for this month i really don't have to do anything this month um hubby has everything planned because it's like i said it is my birthday month so i'm not buying anything or doing anything just because even my birthday outfit, I did not have to buy anything. I literally shot my closets. You probably like closets? Yes, I have two closets. I literally shot my closets. And got both outfits for both days. I did not have to go out and purchase anything. That is why I said 
to you guys that I will not be buying clothes this year. I literally can shop my closet for four years straight without ever having to buy anything. I've just bagged a bunch of stuff that I'm giving away to the shelter and I still have closets full of things that I never have to go out and purchase clothes again. If my husband say you will never buy clothes again, I wouldn't be okay because I <laughs> it's that crazy. Um, but I'm also in the process of going through my closet and looking at things that I just bought on a whim just because it looked it cute at the time or I liked the color and or actually like the envision a certain style. But when I got the pieces, I didn't either. I didn't even I didn't try to create the style or once I created it, I didn't like the look. So if that's the case, I'm getting rid of those pieces, even with sandals and shoes. If I bought sandals just because I caught them on sale or something, and I really haven't worn them. Like if I haven't worn them in like four or five years, it's time to get rid of them. So I gave away a bunch of sandals and a bunch of um, shoes, um, not tennis shoes because I'm a sneakerhead and those can be those are collector items. <laughs> But uh, other than that, I've given away a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not buying any more bags this year. Hubby bought me my last two bags, um, and that was for Christmas. I wanted two coach bags, and I got those for Christmas. But for the most part, I will not be buying anything um, for a while unless it's house things for the household. Um, and I will say things for the office, but not even necessarily for the office just because there is nothing now that I got those those pieces coming, there's really nothing I need except for a rug and maybe some artwork in here. And I have so far, I have two pieces of art that I'm getting um, that I'm looking forward to purchasing. So I'm waiting on those pieces. I'm waiting to decide when I'm going to purchase those pieces because they're not expensive, but because I said that I wasn't going to buy anything for January, I won't be able to get it to February. And plus Valentine's Day is coming up. So I got to try to maneuver this in the best possible way that I can so I can get my honey bunny. Even though we had, we didn't do Valentine's Day last year. This year I do want to do a little something, nothing big. But just I feel like I want to show him um, just a token of my appreciation. But he's always kind of like, he's not bothered by that just because we do stuff for each other like... It don't have to be a holiday. We're going we gonna to do something for each other. We're going to pick up something for each other. We're going to... That's just me. And then my love language is giving. So I always love to give things. Um. So yeah. Uh, I, right now, I'm just focused on getting my house in order. So that causes me not to spend money. Because I'm trying to shop my house right now. I'm shopping my house. I'm going through things. Seeing what I want to keep. Seeing things that can be used again. Seeing things that... Um, I can incorporate in my home and I'm slowly finding certain things and I'm slowly getting rid of things too. For instance, this coffee table, like I said in my um, budget breakdown for the um, month, this coffee table is leaving. It's going to my son and I'm giving him this coffee table. I paid $89 for this coffee table. So I'm going to give it, give it to him. It's just a nice, cute little glass coffee table. And because I gave him the, our living room furniture, I think this will be a nice accent to his home. So I'm going to give it to him. All right, guys, I am going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there is anything you want to talk about in the next video or see in the next video, leave a comment in the comment section. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video, which I don't know what that'll be. I'm trying to get hubby to do this Q&A with me because everybody wants to be, a lot of people want, well, I'm not going to say everybody, a lot of people want me to do a Q&A on how we met and I do want to talk about that. So I'm trying to find time. We'll probably do it, I don't know. I'm going to try to get it done by the end of this month so I can have it. For, I think it would be perfect for February. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I am going to get out of here. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, and have fun planning it all out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.